My journey uh, is, is, well, it's from theatre really. I began in theatre at the Royal Court where my first play was kind of produced. And I was really fortunate for that, for that to come back the second year for like a mini UK tour. Uh, I got an agent from that and things kind of really snowballed from there and TV kind of came by and we're really interested in this new voice, I guess, that was coming through. Um, why do I write? Good question. But to be honest, I think I write to create the shows I want to watch on TV, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still a TV viewer and uh, there's, you know, TV is there to be watched and enjoyed and so I write to get involved in that. I think the major difference is writing scripts that are much shorter than plays. And for instance, with Youngers, you know, it's a, it's a half hour show that is actually runs for 22 minutes. So that's going to be 26 pages that I need to get, you know, a story going, as it were, that's still engaging fun with the characters and, and pull people in and do that within these kind of short scenes, really. In theatre, I can have, in a way, all the time I want to really enjoy, take my time be more subtextual and really, you know, allow uh, the audience to really enjoy and, you know, take more of the world while TV is just, just a limited time. In terms of authenticity, I, I, I just, I just got an ear for people. I, I, I love to, I hate to say it, I love to listen to conversations. I'm a listener more than a talker, really, as much as, you know, things like this I know I have to do, but I like to listen and to really hear what people are saying, hear what they're not saying, and then work out how they are and, and who they are. That's just fun, you know, it's just something I've always enjoyed doing with characters and people. And so I kind of bring that with my work as well, not just to have something that's just one, or person that's just one dimensional. It's like, who are they? You know, where have they come from? How have they got to this point? And that's really fun to mine them and to develop them and show. I think for me, it was more comedies in my house. And I think that's kind of seeps out into my style where, um, you know, I mean, my mum used to watch all the classic kind of comedies from Only Fools, um, you know, even things like Heidi High, You Rang My Lord, like literally all of that catalogue of work was constantly playing in my house. And, you know, those are back in the day when there was only four channels and, you know, I didn't have a TV in my room, so I had no choice but to watch it. Even if I was doing something else, it'd just be there in the background. So I've kind of absorbed all of that. And those are the characters, the Del Boy kind of characters, you know, especially those characters that are trying to aim to get somewhere or to achieve something, the journey of trying to get to an ambition, that's really, I think, stuck with me. Cause it's a bit like myself as well because I don't come from a, a theatrical background or a television background you know I started from the bottom and I'm just trying to learn for each day and you know every opportunity I get and so and I, and I do it with humour I guess because you know I could be just really miserable and tense and I'll always be but I try to stay optimistic with what I'm doing because I enjoy what I do that's the thing as well and so that's had a yeah those programs particularly those comedy programs had a big impact on my life as well I mean I do worry about what online like social media can do to drama because I've noticed in other um, mediums that say like reality shows and that where certain key I guess story beats they might call it there'll be a little hashtag whatever the program is underneath it as if telling the audience now to comment on this funny moment that's happening now and I worry that certain dramas might soon have that where their joke or, or a major incident will happen and you'll see the little hashtag of the title encouraging people to literally just be critiquing straight away exactly what they're seeing, it's kind of knee-jerk reaction and whether TV, certain TV might go off into this direction of trying to generate uh, hits online through something outrageous or something so crazy that it's causing people to go online and comment about it and then they measure success on the show through that. I've got to keep it real then, um, things like Empire Strikes Back, uh, Godfather Part 1, and old box set of Thundercats. <laughs> That'll see me through on a fun run on the desert island. That'll keep me going, like, you know, yeah.